Hello everybody, today we're going to work with the balls or weights, dyna band or any form of resistance that you wish to incorporate in the lesson. So I hope you will join me, have fun and let's start. I'm going to take the dyna band to start with. Mine is very long so I'm folding it in two. What you want to be sure is that you have some kind of a little bit of resistance here. Your arms have a direction. Think that you separate the dynaband. That will incorporate, that will fire up your uh, triceps. Find a straight back. Elongate from the base of the spine all the way up. Shoulders are sliding towards the lower back, sliding towards your lower back. Pull the abdominal towards your lower back. Feel your body today in space. Just stay here. Take a breath. And exhale. Think that I'm pulling you from the top of your head to the sky. Once more, you take a breath. And exhale. Think, feel the expansion of the ribs as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, they come towards each other. And now we start to move. So you take another breath and move the hips. Try not to collapse from the chest and roll. Just half roll down and come back up and find your straight back. And roll down. Try to keep a little tension on the dynaband. Don't go crazy, but you still want to incorporate and fire up the triceps. And roll down and come back up find the straight back so for me it's a little bit more than i think i have to go so here it's not straight so i'm really bringing trying to bring the lower back forward and roll down and come back and now we're going to go to a place that you can stay a few seconds you want the lower back towards the floor bring the arms to the right side and find your center and left and center and right and center and left think that you're separating the dyna band right and center and left try not to move the knees press the lower back to the ground that was the last one go a little bit more so really now my lower back is resting on the floor but not the shoulders bring the arms one leg with the ears and bring the dyna band towards the knees and lift with this movement, try not to lower the chest. You're pressing the back of the ribs to, towards the floor. And lift. And lower. Long arms, they're moving from the shoulder blades. You're looking actively with your head towards the abdominal. Last time, stay here and come back up. Find your straight back. Now, go half roll down. Stay here and now pulse, a little pulses going backward. So people, make sure it's not the chest that collapsing every time, but really the abdominal is pulled to your, to, towards your lower back. We are warming up the back and warming up the abdominal muscles. And from here, bring the arms to the right side, lift it up, lower, and find your center left lift lower find your center again make sure that the arms are moving from the shoulder blade you go to the right try not to move the knees and up lift go to the right i'm looking beautiful sky if you're doing it on this date the beautiful sky outside. Last time to the left. Find your center and roll all the way down. Now, your feet you're placing under your knees. Bring the arms all the way back and tap the knees. And back and tap the knees. And back, you breathe in. With exhalation, push the lower back to the ground. And back. And bring the dynamic towards the knees. Now listen. 
The arms are going back now. Put your feet and your knees together and now press the knees towards the dino band, the, the dino band to the knees. You should feel the abdominal is firing up and place it down. You take a breath and with exhalation push and go back down. You take a breath and with exhalation push the knees to your arms and the arms to your knees and back. If you don't have a dino band, indeed, you can use the arm, the hand palm, just create resistance like this. And back. And once more, you come here and roll back down. Elongate the legs, keep the arms long. I'm going to scoop a little bit forward for you. Find the stretch in the spine, press the back ribs to the ground. Your legs are externally rotated and you place them in a Pilates stand. Bring the arms above your chest, till your head and look towards your toes, press the low back to the ground, contract the glutes, and go back down. And you take a breath, with exhalation, come up, and go down. Try not to move the legs. You add them in, you come here, stay here, and now only the arms are moving. Now, two options. You can bring them way beyond your, your ears, but try not to lower the chest. And back. The whole body is working because you're contracting the glutes, you're pushing the low back to the ground. Last time, stay here and come back up. We continue with the roll up. You're going forward. Create the letter C with your spine. So think about this round shape from the crown to the tail. Think the tail is going towards your heels. Reach forward, elongate from the waistline and roll down. Keep those arms long, they have a direction. The arms are going back. Bring the arms forward. Lift your head and reach forward, round the spine. Try not to collapse here, really lift the tire and roll back down. And the arms are going back. Bring the arms forward and reach forward. Your, your shoulders are away from the ears. Keep the shape, keep the shape as you roll down. And the arms are going back. And come forward, reach. And now find your straight back. Bring the arms uh, in a one line with your spine. From here, you're going to the right side and come center. And go to the other side. So imagine that your waistline is a wet uh, towel and you take the water away. So you breathe in here and you breathe out as you rotate. You breathe in and you breathe out as you rotate. You breathe in and you breathe out with the rotation. You breathe in and you stay here with the rotation. Bring long arms down and lift it up. You're sitting heavily on both buttocks. So make sure that the opening opposite buttock is not lifting. We're slicing the arms back to the, uh, we're going to bring them to the floor. From here, can you twist a little more without lifting the shoulders and find your center? We're going to the other side and slice the arms down and up. Keep the lower back elongated and down. Try to keep the arms long. The opposite hamstring and buttock is pressing to the floor. Last time, stay here, elongate even more, and fold your body forward. And come back up, flex your feet. Push the heels forward, and now reach forward. If you can, place the dino band on the ball of your feet. If not, place it on your shins. Now, I'm going to a flat back, so I'm pulling on the dyna band to create this one line from, the, from my tail to the crown. Shoulders are going back, chest is going forward, elongate, 
go back forward, point the toes, and go all the way down. Okay, from here, the arms are going back. Bring them forward, stay here. I just wanted to make a nice transition. Open the dino band and place the dino band on the ball of your feet, just like that. You hold it, uh, so for me it's about knee height. Make sure that you have a little resistance, not crazy, but still somewhat. You want, with the, we continue with the roll up, but we're not bending the arms. So push the dino band from your heels and roll down. Keep those arms long. It will be easier, but it will help you to concentrate, con concentrate on working totally from the abdominal and go down. When you come up, don't let the arm uh, bend. Shin to your chest and come up and find your straight line. The other in and roll down. Push the heels forward, long arms. Keep the arms long. And now, shin to your chest, long arms as you come up to a straight back. Once more, you take a breath. With exhalation, you roll down, long arms. You take a breath and come back up. We will try to go to the roll over. So you stay here, you roll down, place the arm next to you and bring the legs above your hips. Place the arm on the floor and now roll over. And from here, roll down and bring the arms back. And you take a breath and roll over. Lift the tailbone towards the ceiling and roll back down. Once more, you roll down and roll over. Push the dino bend away. Press the arms to the ground and come back down. Bend your knees and come to seated position. Let me just adjust something in the telephone. Okay. We continue. We're going to roll it like a ball. And if you have a ball, take a ball. Sit straight. Hold the ball here. Actually, let's start differently. Place your hands here and pull the heels towards your button. You roll down and come back. And roll the hips down, try to just roll the spine just like we did with the roll over. Once more, you roll back. Once, last time, and come back. Now, take the ball, place it between your knees Go lay down and bring the heels towards your buttock. Place your arm to the ground. This is in my way. And now try to keep the heels towards your buttock and lift the tailbone from the floor. And lift. So really concentrate that it's lower abdominal that does the work. And lift. And lift. Now you can make it bigger. Tap the floor with your uh, toes and lift. Tap and lift. Tap and lift. Tap and lift. I'm helping myself with the arms. And lift. Last time. And take the ball away. Place the ball underneath your right ankle. You lay down. You press the hamstring towards the floor and bring the left knee towards your chest. So the right leg is active. Left leg is elongated. Place the arms on the ground and go for leg circle. It doesn't have to be big. What I want you to do is press the right hamstring to the ground, pull the navel in and just rotate gently the left leg in the hip bone. And reverse, feel that the femur is sinking towards the hip cup. Keep the working leg long if it's possible. 
take the leg with this uh, extra stretch. Now lift your head and try to kiss the knee. My right leg is still active. And now just change the leg. So my left calf of an or ankle is on the ball. Bring the right knee to you. Elongate the right leg, give it a stretch. Place the arm on the ground. Press the left leg on the ground and go for a gentle leg circle. What you want to pay attention is that you pull the navel towards your low back, that you're really making a gentle circular movement in the, with the leg. You're not moving from the knee or the feet, but from the hip. That was the last one. Take the leg, give it a nice stretch, lift the head. Bring both knees to you and come to seated position. We're going to spine stretch forward. So elongate the legs, the width of the mat, press the heels forward, and actually to check yourself, you can place the ball just in the base of the tailbone. So make sure that you're not pushing it. This is your Im imaginary wall. Bring the arms forward. You add them in. I'm still keeping connection with the ball here as I'm stretching my middle and upper back. Reach with the fingers forward and I'll come back up. I'm not going very much forward. I want to concentrate on the middle upper back. You add them in and reach forward. Try not to sink. You're pushing the hips against the ball. You're pushing the ribs backwards and come back up. Yeah, you breathe and you exhale as you go forward and come back up. Now, you take a breath with exhalation, reach forward. I'm still keeping the, dime, the ball in the back there and I'm reaching more towards the floor with my fingers and with my head. And from here, come all the way up. And you take a breath and reach forward. So bring the fingers to the floor, elongate the talia, and come back. Now take the ball in your hands and hold it just one line with the spine. Press the back of the legs to the ground. And now from here, you reach all the way forward. Make, think that you're going over a giant ball, but you do not want to touch this ball. And come back up. So first you elongate towards this, this sky. And now you reach all the way forward. Try to bring the ball towards the floor and come back up. Once more, you elongate and reach forward with control and come all the way up. Place the ball on the floor and uh, bring the arms one line with the upper back. Find your straight back. Press the zip pockets of the mat, crown to the ceiling and go to the right side and come center. And go to the other side and center. And go to the first side and center. And left and center. Go to the right side and center. Go to the left and stay here. From here, bring the arms up. Actually, let's take the ball. And now rotation to the right side. Try not to lean backwards. So really keep elongation. You really sit heavily on your buttock as you rotate more. Think that you're spiraling towards the sky and come back. You take a breath with exhalation. You're spiraling towards the ceiling and come back. Control the movement. You take a breath and you twist. Gentle, maybe you have one millimeter more, one centimeter more, and come center. And go to the other side, rotate a little more, and come center. Place the ball on the floor, place your hands behind you, you can close the legs, and just bring the chest forward. Bring the shoulder towards each other, Lift, look to the sky, 
and come back. If you want to increase the movement, you can still uh, stay seated or lift all the way up. Lift the hips, elevate the body, contract the glutes, push the floor with your hands, with your heels, and go all the way up. Bring the arms up and we stretch forward. And come back up. We're going to continue on your abdominal. So, lie on your stomach. I'm going to put my hair again so I can work. Lay down. Your legs are in a small V. Place your forehead on your hands and elongate the legs. Push the front of the hips to the ground. Contract the glutes. Novel towards your lower back. The belly is pulled up. Lift the right leg and place it down. And left. And place it down. Right. And place it down. And left. And place it down. Right. Keep the legs low. And left. And right. And left. And right. And left. Really think that you are lifting the thighs. The hamstring is coming up anyway, but to think of lifting the thighs from the floor. Last set, right? And left. Okay. Take your bend. You can fold it or not, it's not important. I'm going to fold mine because it's long. And hold it just outside your hips. Long arms, but make sure that you have a little tension on it. Legs, legs are elongated. And now lift everything up and try to separate the dynamic. Hold and go back down. You take a breath. Great exhalation. You come up. Separate your dynamic and go down. The other knee. And come up. Separate the dynamic and go down. And you come up. Separate the dynamic and pulse. And up. You pull the belly in, you push the hips to the ground, the head is one line with the rest of your body. Last time, place it down and go to a rest position. Push yourself up, bring the tailbone to the glutes, elevate the arms. And now go on your hands and knees. So you place your hands under your shoulders, knees under your hip, and think that your shins are pressing to the floor. So it will give you more, maybe even if you don't uh, reach it, just you will feel that the knees are more active, you're pressing the floor more effectively. From here, con uh, bring the tailbone in, round the spine, and go to a cat stretch. You look with the head towards the abdominal. From here, find a straight back and go to a poodle. Lift your head, lift your tail. Shoulders are sliding towards your lower back. And now, find your straight back. Again, go to a cat stretch. Round yourself. Really pull the lower back to the sky. Push the floor away and go back to a poodle, lift, shoulders are going back, tail and head going to the ceiling, and once more round yourself, and find your poodle, and find your straight back, from here, and look at the right leg, it's externally rotated, make sure that the hips are one line, so you don't have um, Hiking, you're not hiking one hip. Bring it up and down and lift and lift. Keep the contraction in the glutes. Keep the belly pulled in. Shoulders are away from the ears. And lift and lift and lift and lift and lift. Stay here. Bring the knee towards your shoulder so it's not here if you can really lift it up 
and find your straight line again. So bring it here and find your straight line. Take your time to really work the outside of the glutes and out. And bring it in and out. Try to keep both arms long and back. And in. Now stay here. Bend the knee down and up. And down and up. Down and up. Push the floor away. Pull the navel in and down and up and down. Now stay here, elongate the leg, point it and make circles behind you. And oh, try not to move anything but half the working leg and reverse. You still pull the navel in, you keep the arms long, shoulders away from the ears. That was the last one, hold and bring it back, go to a rest mode. I have a cramp again, so. Okay, we're going to the other side, I'll turn around for you. So, find this uh, table top position. You press the shins towards the floor. Let's go to a couple of uh, cat pull-up. So you round the spine, actively look towards the abdominal and turn head to the sky. And once more, round yourself, push the floor away and round. Find your table position, elongate the left leg, point it and pause and up and up. With every pulse, contract the glutes at the top. And up. 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 Now bring the knee towards the upper shoulder here and find the straight line. So it, it's not here, if you can, it's not the elbows, but really try to go to the shoulder and elongate. And and elongate and extend so every time find your straight line here and in and extend and in and extend now keep it bent you lower and lift lower like there is resistance on the upper thigh like you're pushing against something and out and up and up, keep the navel in, and up, and up, from here, elongate, find your straight hips here and go for circle, and up, and up, pay attention to the rest of the bodies, quiet, you press the right hamstring to the floor for support, not any hamstring, shins, and go to a rest, position. Bring the body to the heels, elongate the arms, let me see, let me see how long we have. Okay, now go to the right side and take the, or I'm on my left side, doesn't matter, bend the legs, uh, take the ball, and lay down, the lower arm is like a pillow under your head. I'm placing my hand on the bow. That way my shoulder is not going towards my ear or my face. Pull the abdominal in, both uh, uh, leg is extended. You flex the foot, you bring it forward. You pulse twice and you pulse twice behind you. And pulse, 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 pulse. Pulse, pulse, try not to move the hips. So it's only the legs is moving forward. And pulse, pulse, back, back. Think that you're pushing something behind you. And pulse, pulse, back, back. Pulse, pulse, back, back. Pulse, pulse, back, 
back once more pulse pulse back back keep the leg here you lift it up and elongate down lift and lower and lift and lower and lift and lower lift and lower and lift and lower last time now from here take the ball go on your elbows and reach with the ball forward and the leg is going behind you and now bring it forward so the leg forward the arms behind try not to lower the you control the ball the ball does not control you so you bring it forward reach chest forward you're reaching forward and now go behind you and reach forward and leg is coming forward and reach with the arm stretch and behind last time reach and behind and come back we're going to the other side so lay down bend the knees place your head on your lower arm the ball is here upper leg is hip height flex the foot you bring it forward and back so you flex the foot forward you point as you press the leg backwards pull the abdominal in and up and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back stay here you lift the leg and lower and lift and lower try to point the toes my foot is relaxed i just over an injury so i'm trying not to over activate it but by all means elongate the legs as much as you can and lift and lower lift and lower lift and lower last time and stay here go on your elbows take the ball the legs the, the arms is one line with the upper shoulders you bring the ball backwards and the arms forward Try, think that you're going over tabletop now bring the chest forward look where you're going contract the glutes pull the belly in and four and reach forward you can increase increase the movement if you want you can look to the towards the ball and bring forward and four try not to drop the leg and last time reach forward and bring the arm forward and relax okay people go to seated position we're going to the we're going to stretch and then uh, go towards the end so I want you to bend the right leg and bring the left arm outside the right leg push against it and just rotate the spine towards the sky. Get a nice stretch. If you can, look beyond your shoulder. And come back. Change. Right hand. So press against it. Elongate. And come back. Ooh. Okay. Place your feet together for the seal. You place your hand under your uh, ankle. The tailbone is going under. Imagine that you have an apple under your chin. So you're not mashing your, your chin, but you are elongating the back of the neck. And now roll back and massage the spine. And roll back and with control down. Enjoy it to so really feel that your lower back, middle back, upper back is going back and the same way going to seated position and roll back and come back last time and come back. Okay, we did it. Thank you for joining me today and 
I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day.